Hi there, this is Jay Calvert. We're going to be testing the new FireWire by MJG Technologies, uh, testing it for its ability to initiate a copper thermite reaction. First, uh, for the control, we're going to do the FireWire by itself. We're using a um, Quest model rocket uh, launch system to fire it, the kind that uses a, a bulb to indicate continuity. So I'm not sure whether the uh, fire wires are continuity safe. So we're going to insert the key that lights the bulb and tests continuity uh, after a short countdown. And then if it doesn't go, we'll, we're going to go ahead and press the button and make it go. And we'll see what the fire wire by itself looks like. Fire wire device on top of the box. I'm going to take a few steps back. And when I get to uh, count down from five, we're going to put the key in to test continuity and see whether or not the igniter pops from the continuity that's going through to light the light bulb on the launch control system. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Is the light bulb on? Yep. Good. So it seems to be continuity safe for this kind of a launch system. So we're going to count down again from five and then we're going to press the button and we will watch the fire wire pop. Going in five, four, three, two, one, go. And that's what it looks like with no thermite. Okay, test number two. This time, we're going to use a fire wire to try to ignite some copper thermite, which is in that yellow plastic soda straw. And we're going to go through the same routine. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> I would say it worked. And that, uh, that green gas means that we've got uh, aluminum oxidation from the copper. Good. Copper thermite, we've got a larger amount. This is about 5 grams of copper thermite in that little uh, masking tape doobie wrapped around the tip of the fire wire. So I'm going to back off now a little further than last time. Okay. Okay, 5 grams of thermite on a fire wire. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, very nice. Igniting about 10 grams of copper thermite. Um, this is the amount we would use for an L or M class uh, composite rocket motor. All right, so we're this far, but we're about 20 feet back. There is the uh, line going to the firewire thermite. Go ahead and put the continuity key in. Bulbs Prime lit? Ready. All right. Going to light 10 grams of thermite. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Nice. Now the box is on fire. I'd call that successful.